guys. So today's video is going to be a video quickly reviewing all of my current favorite lip pencils. You guys have been requesting this video for quite some time, so I wanted to be sure to get it up for you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do a current favorite lip stick and lip color video because I know some of you guys have been wanting that as well. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will just get started with it. My favorite lip pencils are from MAC. I like that the pencil itself is very firm and hard and once applied to the skin it becomes emollient and puts down just the right amount of pigmentation. I also just think that MAC does nude shades the best and I like their mauve and rosy shades as well. I just all around think that the MAC lip pencil is the best. I know that they are a little bit more expensive so if you are wanting to splurge on just one I would say pick a color that is similar to your own natural lip color like a your lips but better type of shade or pick a liner shade that is going to be the most harmonious with whatever lip color you wear the most. So if you wear nudes the most then try to pick maybe a darker nude pencil or if you wear red the most pick a nice red pencil that type of deal. Um, I've narrowed it down to my four favorites for you guys. The first one is Whirl. This is uh, one of my favorites. It's obviously one of my favorites. It's so tiny now. I love Whirl. I also love Strip Down. This is a mid-tone nude brown. It's more neutral on my skin tone. I like Half Red as well. This is a deep dusty berry shade and I also love Soar as well. I recently tried a couple lip liners from Kaplan MD. This one is in the shade Rosewood. This is an automatic type of pencil, so you do twist it at the base rather than put it in a traditional sharpener. I like this. It has really amazing pigmentation. It is minty, so it does kind of have a slight cooling sensation on the lips. This is a very creamy formulation, but it lasts a long time, and like I said, really great pigmentation with the Kaplan MD liner. I'm also a huge fan of the Gorgeous Cosmetics lip pencils in the shade Barely There and Kiana. The Gorgeous Lip Pencils are a little bit softer and they are a similar formulation to what I would compare a gel eyeliner. So if you don't keep the lids on these, they can dry out like a gel pencil liner will dry out. These will dry out as well and they also are very long wearing. You need something oil based to remove these and they stay on until you take them off. Of course if you put a gloss on top or a shiny creamy lipstick it does break down the formulation a little bit but if you wear these on their own they are extremely long wearing ColourPop lippy pencils are my favorite affordable brand of lip pencils they have a great color selection the formulation of the pencil itself is a little bit softer but it does set onto the lips it's very very creamy but it's easy to work with and you still get precision even though they are a little bit more creamy um, my favorite shades currently are Contempo Oh Snap, which is a little bit lighter and more lavender than Contempo, and then I also really like the shade Grunge. Grunge is actually the lip pencil that I'm wearing today. Milani also makes great lip pencils. These are a little bit similar to the MAC lip pencils that I like so much where they're a very dry type of harder pencil, not quite as hard as MAC, but still really nice and dry so you get a lot more precision. Two of my favorite shades from Milani are Brandy and the other shade that I really like is just the shade in Nude. These last three are all automatic uh, lip liners from the drugstore. I'm not a huge fan of the automatic lip pencils. I just find that they're not as hard. They're a little bit more creamy, less precision. I find that they don't last as long on my lips, so they're not my favorites, but these are really great colors to check out if you guys are interested. The first one is Rockin' Rose from Jordana. This one is really beautiful. This one is a pretty dry formulation. I like it. The next one is by Rimmel. This is in the shade Addiction. I have talked about this on my channel a couple times. I love the color of this. It is very creamy though, so I don't use this to amp up the longevity on any other lip color. I would prefer to just wear this with a chapstick or a lip balm or a clear gloss on top of this because I love this mostly for the color. And then the last lip liner that I wanted to talk about is from LA Girl. This is their semi-permanent lip liner in the shade Nude. I'm a huge fan of the LA Girl semi-permanent lip liners because they last a really long time. They are in the um, automatic uh, 
category though so you can't really sharpen the point and ever get it super sharp but they last a super long time so these are really great for revving up the wear time on whatever lip color you choose to put underneath on top of this. <laughs> Alright guys, so those are all of my current favorite lip pencils. As you can tell, they are all within the same color family, but they're all a little bit different to me, and you guys have been requesting this video, so I did want to get it up for you. Hopefully between the swatches, you guys could find a certain pencil that interests you, and I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will see you in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!